So it's been a little while since I've updated you guys on our camera filmmaking gear, 2016 to be exact. And uh, this year we actually bought a few new pieces, upgraded um, our setup. So I thought, let's run you through it. We film with three main cameras. They're all Sony's. This isn't sponsored by them, but we rather enjoy their gear. Our main camera that we film everything with, this was an upgrade this year and it is the Sony a7 III. Before this, we were using the Sony a7S II, which is that camera that is filming all this right over there. But uh, this has been really, really nice. Um, I like the photos. The main reason why we upgraded, well, I think there's a couple reasons, but two of the reasons I've been thoroughly enjoying is the color science. It's a big upgrade from the A7S II. Um, and for photos, it's a really nice camera for photos. And, and battery life. And battery life. And autofocus. And autofocus. This is Matt's main camera, by the way. Next, we'll move on to my main camera, which has been my pride and joy this year. And that is the Sony A6400. This is the vlog cam. That was the main cam. This is the vlog cam. And this is my camera. This is the one I usually use all the time because it is great for vlogging. Now, I have it currently on the Sony handheld tripod mount. It has the buttons on here so you can actually control the camera from the grip, which is really nice. And there are a couple reasons why we upgraded to the 6400. This is also new this year, the flip out screen. That's why it's called the vlog cam because it is perfect for vlogging. As you can see, we have this little addition that we've added on here. It is the small rig attachment, and that's because this little hot shoe mount makes it very difficult to flip out the screen and have a mic that attaches here. So the small rig just pulls it off to the side so the mic sits like on this side here, like so. However, though, there are some times where we need to be a little bit more inconspicuous or we don't really wanna carry it around a big camera and the camera that we used to vlog on is this one. So we do bring this with us as well. Um, it is the Sony RX100 Mark V A. 5A. We have the Mark V as well, and that's that camera right there that's filming this bit. I used this camera for years before I upgraded to the A6400, and the main two reasons why I did that was because I really wanted an external audio. As you can see here, we have these little fluffies on the top of the camera. That is to prevent that shh wind noise. The second thing I really wanted was a wider angle lens, so an interchangeable lens. This camera is a lot wider of an angle than this camera, so I get a lot more of a view range. Also, it's just a better camera, so. Now, the last cameras that, or camera, cameras, it depends on the trip how many we'll bring our GoPros. I mean, these are just a classic action camera. We have the six and the five, I believe. Yes, they're both the black version, six and the five. They're amazing. Like we don't even use stabilizers anymore for them. They're really, really handy for any kind of wet and wild activity. For our main camera, the camera Matt uses, his main lens is that one right there. It is the Sony 24 to 70 F4. It is a great all around lens for travel. I feel like I've used it for a few years. It is currently on the A7S camera, but that is our go-to lens that you would use. Like 90% of the time. 90% of the time, Matt's using that lens. This is the Sony 85 F1.8. It's really, really pretty for photos. We do a lot of portrait photos on this because it has a really nice bouquet. And then we'll do like, <laughs> kind of like a poor man's zoom lens. So we use it for like wildlife or if you need like a, a zoom that we don't really have. Or for video, if we want like a really nice shallow depth of field, we'll use this lens as well. This is the Zeiss Battis 18 millimeter 2.8 lens. This is our wide angle lens. I bought this a couple years ago. We use this for a lot of our interior shots because it has a beautiful, like it gives that wide angle lens, 18 mil, it's a wide angle. Uh, so we use it when we're filming hotels. We use it when we're filming food, it gets up nice and close or when it's really dark because it's a 2.8. So it's really nice for low light situations. It's a pretty cool lens. I enjoy it. It's probably our most expensive lens of the bunch. Yeah, it would be nice if this was 
not a prime and a zoom lens with a little bit more versatility with travel because as you can see we don't really i mean we carry a lot of gear but then we don't at the same time as well um, and the last lens that we have is my vlog cam lens so this is the only lens that i have for my vlog cam it is the sony 10 to 18 millimeter that is a would you call it an ultra wide it's an ultra wide lens it's at 10 millimeters it's a little bit fisheye on the 6400 although it um it really allows for like the perfect selfie angle with the camera i enjoy it this lens just pretty much stays fixed on my vlog camera the whole time like i don't switch out any of the other lenses although these other lenses would work on both of our sony cameras another reason kind of why we've just like stayed in the ecosystem of sony so we could interchange our lenses if we wanted to another reason why we picked this particular lens is because it has built-in image stabilization in the lens Whereas the 6400 camera does not. It is one of the faults of this camera. The 6600, which is their one upgraded version that was just released a few months ago, that one has in-body image stabilization, which is a bonus that we are, it would be nice, but it works as like just as good with the lens being stabilized. Well, they're not just as good, but good enough. It works good enough with the lens being stabilized itself. So for our mics setup, <laughs> this is our our very tried, tested and true Rode microphone. Um, I got this in 2011. It has been in the shop for repair several times, but for free because they have an awesome repair system. So it's been quite handy um, sending it in. But this is our video mic pro it's the cam it's the one we've been using for forever which we are upgrading this year it's actually in the mail on its way to us the rode video mic ntg is currently in the mail and shall be our new microphone now the mic that i use on my vlog cam is also a rode mic uh, as you see it's a, a little bit smaller not as complex this is the rode video micro and um, yeah, it just fits on top of my vlog cam. So we just slide it in to on our small rig like that. And then we plug it in on the side here. And um, that's kind of my vlog cam setup. Now it's not perfect. As you can see, there's like this cord that dangles in the back. And so when I flip up the screen, I actually need to like flip this cord bit over like so, but then it's fine, it works. I've been vlogging all year on it, and I mean, you get over it. It's it's a little bit bigger of a setup, obviously, vlogging like this than um, with just a tiny little vlog cam. But to me, the quality has been worth it. I hope you guys have appreciated the quality of this rig. And it's pretty light too. Another reason why I love it for my vlog cam is it's quite lightweight, even with the lens on it as total, like, I don't know what the total weight is, but it's enough for my weak little arms to hold up for extended periods of time. The last piece of gear that we have on this table is this bad boy. Probably our biggest piece of equipment, I would say, aside from our tripod. Technically, a tripod's probably bigger um, of camera gear that we usually bring on our travels, and that is our three-axis gimbal. Now, we use this quite a bit for our interior shots, I'd say like all the hotels, museums that we film. It is, it creates beautiful buttery smooth footage. So this is the Zion Crane V2. It is a slightly older model. We have had it for a few years, so they have upgraded it and there's like new features and all of that jazz. And it has a better payload. So this actually struggles with like heavier gear. Like when we have our full, like our main camera with a big lens and the microphone, it, it quite struggles. We used to use it a lot more in our travels in like 2017, 2018, um, less so as much in 2019, but that'll probably change because I rather enjoy the footage from the crane. I, I really do, it is, it's quite nice. It's just a little bit of extra work to like set up. Uh, we also have a drone. This is the DJI Mavic. Um, we don't really use the drone that much anymore at all because well there's just a whole lot of laws with, when it comes to drones and most of the places we travel to at the moment or have been traveling to just don't allow drones so we don't really have it and you know we're not going to be those people that break 
the law. I love filming in November when the sun sets three o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry for the lighting change, but uh, we're gonna clear this away and I'm gonna show you now our accessories that we use. So these are a selection of things that we carry with us the majority of the time. There are a few items in here that we don't carry on a regular basis, but we might need for a specific trip. Um, but this is the majority of it. So first off, we have our wind socks. So these are just muffs that go on the mics that uh, I had out earlier. I pretty much always have this mic on, or like this wind sock on. That's the one that goes with my small mic that I use on my vlog cam. Um, and this one is <laughs> raggedy looking dead cat. It's seen better days. This one's for the other mic, the, the one that goes on the main camera. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, does its job. Keeps the wind noise down and is very, very important when you are filming in windy environments, which happens quite a lot. So this is our SD card case. We got several SD cards. We have more SD cards. But this is our waterproof, durable SD card case because the footage is very valuable. We don't really wipe our cards that much anymore. We usually have, uh, we keep the footage that we shoot on them and then we also have a copy on our external hard drives. And now we have our RAV Power battery chargers. We bought these off Amazon. The nice thing about these is that they charge, as you can see, two batteries at once. So these ones, these bigger batteries are for a 7.3 and the smaller ones are for the A6400. So as you can see, these are not Sony branded batteries or chargers. They're like, they're not like knockoffs. They but are knockoffs. Okay, they're knockoffs. Um, so there are some pros and cons to this. One is that you get the charger and two batteries for like what, the same price as a single one? Less than a single Less Sony Less than a single Sony battery, which is crazy. Now the downside is that they don't last as long as actual Sony batteries. So you might have more batteries, but they don't last as long. It's helpful, and I thought in like cold weather situations. Realistically, the reason we went this way is because it really is nice having a dual battery charger. So we have a couple Peak Design products here. Uh, first off we have is the strap. This is a beautiful strap that Peak Designs creates. One of the things that makes it so awesome is because it has a really nice quick release feature, like clips that you clip onto on your camera. So it comes with these anchors, which we've attached onto our main camera. So we use this on, well, Matt uses this on his camera and they just clip in, push it down, and uh, then you can take it off like that. Now, the reason we really enjoy this setup is because when we are taking this on and off the crane, for example, or on tripods, you don't have to have the straps. You can just like take it off. Or if you wanna like carry your camera, on your chest, which is where this thing comes in. This is another Peak Designs product that we use. It is the capture clip. And we use that to clip it onto like our backpack or you can clip it onto your belt. And then the camera just slides in like that. And then you can like have your camera like that. It's very handy when you're hiking and it just comes off like that. Um, and so the capture clip comes with this little mounting plate, which also works with the Arcus Swiss tripod heads. Um, now we've got some GoPro accessories. These are kind of our main ones that we use realistically nowadays, but there's a lot of GoPro accessories that we have. Again, we just bring the, certain, the ones that we need for each trip. This is the head mount. So for helmets, etc., just kind of mounts on your helmet or head. This is the chest mount. So chest, mount it there, pretty straightforward. And then we have this one, which is the GoPro three-way grip. This is probably the one we use the most because it extends. This is a little bit, it's a little stiff, this one. Um, but as you can see, it extends. Your GoPro goes on the end here, and then you get like super wide angle. Like it's so wide, it's I'm like out of the camera and wide. Um, it's really handy for a lot of different creative shots for snorkeling, scuba diving. And then we also have a little air blower, which is great for cleaning out all of the gunk in between the lenses, sensors, just all those things that cause black spots. Uh, we also have a pen and microfiber cloth. We got several different cleaning things for our gear because it gets quite dirty. This video is getting too long already. And I got some bags. First off, we have our day bag. So these are our small little satchels that we take with us. This is like what we walk around with 
on our travels. This one is Matt's, this one is mine. So first we'll start with mine. It's a very colorful one. Um, this is an Ona Bowery bag. Uh, it is, I just like it because it's got really cool colors. Um, it is a pretty price, I mean all these bags are pretty pricey, let me just be honest with you guys. But uh, this is a really nice bag. It is, fits my vlog cam, fits a couple other things that I need in it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a little bit small, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I kind of wish it was just a tad bit bigger. I thoroughly enjoy a side satchel for carrying my camera gear. I've had it one for years. And uh, I do like the quality of the Ona bags. So it's nice. This is a well-worn bag. This one is matte. So this is a Peak Designs bag. So this one is highly water resistant and it is the five liter version of this crossbody bag because there's a 10 liter version as well it kind of opens up like this carries a camera two extra lenses some accessories your wallet like essentially what we need for just wandering around town like for the day and here we have our backpack this is our carry-on bag and the bag that we use when we're in transit it is the wandered provoke 21 liter that's the one i use and matt has the wandered provoke 31 liter bag in green they're the same bag just matt's is bigger than mine so matt got his two years ago and he loved it so much that well i loved it so much and i was very jealous that i got one for myself this year um, so yeah, this is a camera slash travel bag. It is water resistant. Yeah, I'll, I'll do like a quick run through of this bag because it's really cool. But um, it opens up in the back like so. It has this beautiful camera cube. So this is where we carry all our camera gear in transit. It's nice and safe and secure. It also has a laptop sleeve that's really easy to get at. So it has a back passport pouch here and it has an expandable roll top. So that's kind of where we put like any sweaters or jackets, you know, carry on stuff that we're bringing with us. It also has a side access for your camera cube. So really nice to get your camera out. Like if you need to really quickly. It's a great backpack because it's so versatile. It can carry all our camera gear, nice and protected, plus all the rest of our carry on gear. So that's pretty much all the gear that we bring with us on our travels to film our travel videos with. Aside from the tripod that currently holding up this camera and the lavalier mics which is what i'm attached to right now and that's what we use to record like audios in crowds or inside because it makes really nice crisp clean all the gear we talked about everything is going to be down below in the description there are links down there so you can check it out you can purchase them if you want obviously if you do purchase through any of the affiliates down below we do get a small commission no cost to you and it helps us make even more better videos and buy more gear that can help upgrade our videos. Either way, it helps support us, so thank you. Also, if you want to know more about being a travel vlogger, all of the other jazz that goes that is involved with filming your travels, I do have an e-course all about it. Links for that are also down below. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.